Alright, so this video here we're going to talk about finding the equation of the normal line to the curve at the indicated point. Okay, so what's the, the normal line? Well, let's just take a look at that. Uh, let's just suppose that you have some kind of graph. Okay, and, and this graph here is not going to be this one. So let, let's just say that we have a graph here of a parabola. Okay, and we have a point here on the parabola, and so you can see that this would be the line that's tangent to the curve at that point. Okay, the normal line is the line that is perpendicular to the tangent line. See, this is the tangent line, and this line here is the normal line. It's the line that's perpendicular to the tangent line. Okay. All right, so let's uh, let's take a look at this. So, uh, if you know how to find the equation of the tangent line, okay, and if you if you're looking for that video, I have a video of that posted also. But to find the equation of the normal line, what we have to do is we have to take the derivative of this of this function and then evaluate it at this point. Okay, and when we take the derivative of this function and evaluate it at the point, that gives us the slope of the tangent line. Okay, well, since we know that the normal line is perpendicular to the tangent line, then that means the normal line, the slope of the normal line, is just the negative reciprocal of the slope of the tangent line. So, what we need to do here is find the slope of the tangent line. So I take the derivative, so f prime of x is equal to, well, first let's, let's rewrite our function. So I've got f of x is equal to 3x squared minus 2 raised to the 1 half. Okay. So now we can use the chain rule. So I'm bringing the 1 half down times, and then that's going to be 3x squared minus 2 and then subtract 1, so that's to the negative 1 half, times the derivative of what's inside the parentheses, so that's times 6x, okay? I'm using the chain here, the chain rule here to find the derivative, okay? Uh, I don't know if you've gotten to that point in your calculus class or not, but you'll, you'll do it uh, shortly after you start finding derivatives. Okay. But the, the, the main thing here is uh, it doesn't really matter what derivative rule you have to use. Whenever you're finding the equation of the normal line or even if it's the tangent line, the main the thing that you have to understand is you just have to take the derivative of the function and then evaluate that function at the point. And that gives you the slope of the tangent line. Okay. All right, so let's kind of simplify this a little bit. So I have f prime of x equals, and this is going to be, uh, let's see, 6x times 1 half. That's going to give me 3x. And then if I take this and move it down to the denominator to make that exponent positive, that's going to be 3x squared minus 2 raised to the 1 half. Okay. All right, so now let's find the slope, and I'm going to put a subscript here this tan because this is going to let me know that this is the slope of the tangent line. All right, so that's equal to f prime of, I'm sorry, that's equal to f prime of, and see we have to plug this point in. Well, there's no y value in the derivative, so I'm not going to have to plug the 5 in. I'll just have to plug the 3 in. So f prime of 3 is going to be 3 times 3 over 3 times 3 squared minus 2 and all that raised to the 1 half. And so I get 9 over and that's going to be 27 minus 2 which is uh, 25 to the 1 half. So that's going to give me 9 fifths. And the square root of, remember 25 to the 1 half is the same thing as the square root of, square root of 25. So there's the slope of my tangent line. So the slope of my, and I'm going to put a subscript norm for slope of the normal line. 
So the slope of the normal line is the negative reciprocal of this. So that's negative 5 over 9. Okay. So now I have my slope and I have my point which is the point 3, 5. Okay. I'm going to write that right here. So now all I'm doing is I'm finding the equation of the line that has a slope of negative 5 ninths and passes through the point 3, 5. Okay. So remember how to do that? Well, we use the point slope form of the line. So that's y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. And so now I just plug everything in. So I've got y minus 5. Okay, see so this is y1 and this is x1. Okay, and that equals m, which is my slope is negative 5 over 9, times x minus 3. And then all I do is solve this for y. So I get y. So I get y minus 5 equals negative 5 over 9 x plus 5 thirds. Okay. And then I add 5 to both sides. So I get y equals negative, negative 5 ninths x plus, what is that, 20 over 3. If I add the 5 to both sides, I get a common denominator of 3. And so that would become a 15, okay? All right. So there's my answer. All right, so let's, let's just take a look at one more, okay? All right, I find the equation of the normal line to the curve at the indicated point. All right, so here I can, uh, I can use the product rule to find the derivative, okay? And another thing you could do, you could actually multiply this out and then just use the power rule all the way through. Okay. I don't know it I don't know which one would be easier uh, it looks like if we use the product rule we'll have to use the we'll have to fold something out so how about we just multiply through here so I get f of x equals now remember how to multiply this you just multiply this term times each one and then this term times each one so that's going to give us x to the fourth minus 3x squared plus x, and then I multiply the 2 to each term, plus 2x cubed minus 6x plus 2. So f of x equals x to the fourth uh, plus 2x cubed minus 3x squared, and then I combine the x and the minus 6x, so that's minus 5x plus 2. All right. So now we've got uh, we've got our function here. We just multiplied that out, and so now we can take the derivative. So this is just the power rule all the way across. So that's going to be 4x cubed plus 6x squared minus 6x minus 5, and then the derivative of 2 is 0. All right. So now I can find the equation of my of my the, the, I can find the slope of the tangent line. Okay, So the slope of the tangent line is just the derivative evaluated at this point. And once again, I don't have a y value, so I'll just plug the x value in. So that's gonna, I'm going to evaluate the derivative at 1, and that's 1 to the 4th plus 2 times 1 cubed. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I was looking at the wrong wrong equation. I'm going to plug it into this one. So that's 4 times 1 cubed plus 6 times 1 squared minus 6 times 1 minus 5. And so let's see what we've got here. Well, this, this is going to be 6 minus 6 is 0. And then here I've got 4 minus 5, and that's going to be negative 1. So the slope of the tangent line is negative 1. So now I can find the slope of the normal line. Well, the slope of the normal line is the reciprocal of negative 1. And what's the reciprocal of negative 1? Well, it's positive 1. All right. So I have my slope of 1. And then my point is the point 1, negative 3. So I'm going to just write that down here. All right. 
And so now I can use y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. I can use the point slope form for the equation of a line. And now I just plug everything in like I did before. So I've got y plus 3, and then see the minus. You see how I get the plus? That'd be y minus a negative 3, and a minus and a minus give me the plus. And that equals 1, which is my slope, times x minus 1. And now I just solve for y. So y plus 3 equals x minus 1. And so y is equal to x minus 4. And there's the equation of the normal line. All right, so just remember, all you have to do is you, you have to take the derivative of the function and evaluate it at the point that they give you. And that gives you the slope of the tangent line. And then you just take the negative reciprocal of the slope of the tangent line, and that gives you the slope of the normal line. And then you can use your point-slope form to find the equation of a line. So I hope this video has helped. Uh, hope you'll check out my other videos, and you can subscribe if you like them. All right, thanks.